Acton Turville is a typical Cotswold village and retains many traditional features. It's situated in South Gloucestershire, quite near the Wiltshire border. Arriving at the village from the Chipping Sodbury direction, you will pass the offset crossroads. Here are several interesting features. The village shop is the community hub. The frontage looks quite modern, but the building has a fascinating past. It was, at one time, a chapel of rest. About 30 yards to the left, this flat top building was the previous shop. On closure, new premises and shopkeepers had to be found. The village is sited at the junction of several local routes and the buildings are set quite close to the roads. This Grade 2 listed building is Pike Cottage, a toll house dating from the 18th century turnpike era. Notice the clock. This old tithe barn was converted some 30 years ago into a private dwelling. It's situated at the crossroads centrally in the village. What a wonderful place to live. In the street facing back to the crossroads is this charming building. It's the old coach house. Opposite the coach house is the old school, long closed of course, and replaced by a modern school on the village outskirts. Here is the school bell, and here to the left are the original outside toilets. I bet that was chilly in the winter. The village is very compact and it centres around the village green and the old canopied well. This is surrounded by a fine collection of buildings with steeply pitched roofs which creates a sense of enclosure. The village was originally the site of a sanctuary dating from Saxon times, indicating that the area was probably a settlement during this period and possibly before. The Church of St Mary although much altered, dates from around the 12th century and still retains relics of the old church. Of interest is the fine early English bell coat. Now a bell coat is a small framework and shelter for one or more bells. It's built on the roof of chapels or churches which have no towers. Alterations were made in the 13th and 15th century. Then the church was restored and rebuilt in 1853 by T.H. Wyatt. This is the older part of the cemetery, quite apparent by the aged tombstones. St Mary's Church is situated behind the village and is accessed by a public right of way. The mature trees and green space around the church create a tranquil atmosphere. To the right of the main door is the newer cemetery as can be seen by the recent additions. My time visiting the village was far too short. It's well worth a further visit another time. I will certainly be doing that. <laughs>